We are back on Inside Politics. Our guest today, Dr. Manny Sethi, who's the Republican candidate for the U.S. Senate, one of those in the primary for next week. Dr. Sethi, did I understand that you said that you don't want to have another trillion dollars? Are you opposed to the Republican proposal that's coming out of the Senate? You would not vote for that right now? Uh, right now, uh, what I believe we need to do, uh, again, is uh, we need to stimulate small business. We need to um, uh, keep our economy open. And those are the are the principles. That bill is really fast evolving, so I'd have to look at where it is right now before I I tell you what I do exactly. Um, um, in terms of but, 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 but make no mistake, the 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 Democrats right now are doing everything they can, guys like Fauci, to to try and shut America down. And I just think, as a physician, that is the biggest mistake that we can make. Look, uh, we try to shut down; it didn't work. Uh, we're, we're right back where we were before this thing. You know, we, we're, we're going to have to face this. America's the best when we go on the offense, period. Let me ask a couple of questions to you about Im immigration. You are a birthright citizen. Your parents did immigrate legally into the country. The president says he wants to put further restrictions on illegal immigration. He wants to end birthright citizenship. Do you would you support the president on both those things? They're both the things that you has benefited your family. If you support getting rid of them, won't you look like a hypocrite? Well, I don't know. You know, first of all, I completely support the end of birthright citizenship for illegal immigrants. When my parents came here, uh, they did it the right way. They stood in line. They waited their turn. It took seven years. Uh, they came to this so country legally with an L. And, uh, you wouldn't be a citizen uh, if that sorry? happened. If you, if you get rid of birthright citizenship, people in the future won't be able to benefit the way you've benefited coming into the country. Oh, no, I disagree, because uh, what, what birthright citizenship is all about is that folks who come to this country illegally uh, and have children, then they, those children uh, don't get citizenship. My parents came here legally, so those are two very different uh, circumstances and scenarios. Uh, if you just nobody seems to be talking about too many positive things in this as there's so much negative going on out there in the country wouldn't a candidate do better in this race to talk about uh, what they've done in your life you have a very positive personal story do you need to tell more of that a little less of the resp even responding back to the attacks yeah. well you know we haven't really responded too much to those attacks i mean first of all let me just say this instead of spending four million dollars on attack ads I really wish the ambassador would just be a man and debate me. We've been calling for debates before early voting. Uh, instead of hiding behind uh, a super PAC and hiding behind his uh, his endorsements, just just come and meet me and let, let's uh, let's really uh, debate this out. Now, in terms of a personal story, that's why they're attacking us. Because look, across the state uh, over the last 18 months, I am a product of the American dream. My parents were immigrants to this country. I did grow up in rural Tennessee. My parents were doctors to farmers. Uh, I did find Christ at a young age and realize I wanted to become a doctor. I have spent my life in, in service of the people of the state. And I believe that Tennesseans see that and wh that's why the choice is being made so clear. But what you have right now is a, is a swamp politician who's just trying to do what swamp people do when they're in trouble. And I think that is the choice that is before Tennesseans. Of, do you see all of these attack ads right now? Do, is that the kind of leadership that you want? If someone slinging mud and, and you know calling you names like we're in the third grade, like Massachusetts Manny, I mean, is, is that what you want? in the next generation of leadership in our state and in our country. We're coming down towards the end. This is a very strong Republican state. Whoever wins this primary will be a heavy favorite to win in November, but a lot of harsh things have been said. Mr. Haggerty's not even sometimes pronouncing your name correctly on the stump, even when you're still in the room. <laughs> will Tennessee be united as a Republican party behind their Senate nominee, whoever that is? You know, look, I, I think so, and I think Again, I think it's just unfortunate uh, how far one person will go uh, to say or do anything to win. As I told you, we're taking the high road. I'm, I'm not going down that path with him. Uh, we'll talk about the facts. We'll talk about the record. So uh, but in the end of the day... Um, if Bill Haggerty is the nominee, you, uh, will, you uh, will endorse him. Is that right? You'll support him? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I think the Republican should win. And, uh, uh, and no matter what, we got to support the president. So... Uh, but the bottom line is, and I would just encourage the ambassador to think about the example he's setting for his family, uh, for all the people watching. Uh, and, and, and I think it's time for the folks in Tennessee to reject the politics 
of these DC insiders of the swamp. Uh, I really think we have a chance uh, for a generational change, for, some, for a true conservative with Christian values to represent the state, and that's why I'm running. Dr. Haggerty, you also expect, excuse me, Dr. Sethi, you do expect Bill Haggerty to support you if you're the nominee, is that correct? Very short, very quickly. Of course, of course. Dr. Bill, Dr. Manny Sethi has been our guest on Inside Politics. We appreciate him being with us as a part of the program, and we also, we'll see what happens. I hope you all vote for the uh, August 6th election. Either you either voted early, you voted absentee, or you go to the polls on Election Day. Again, thank you all for joining us on Inside Politics this week. We'll be back here again for a future show. If you can't get up politics in the meantime, go to the News Channel 5 website. You'll find my Capital View commentary there. It's a new commentary posted every Friday afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you back here next time. Goodbye.